Welcome everyone, I wish you guys having a good day. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to build a simple survival house on the lake. Tutorial gonna be really easy, so sit back and relax, grab your notes and let's get started. So, after we create the exactly copy of the starting layout, first what you want to do is take an oak log and connect them to the very bottom. After that, all you want to do is to extend this four middle logs three more. Then connect them very top. And at the very end extend towards outside from each Now, we're gonna create really simple but really beautiful bridge to get easier to warn the house. So, we're gonna take a spruce slab and go a block below the very top oak lock and then connect on each spacing till you don't reach the house. Then we're gonna place our oak fence on it. And also with the spruce slab we're gonna place on each oak lock here. Now you need a campfire, actually a lot of campfires. So make sure you're facing a bridge direction and then on the same high level as a lock, place, uh, make a row to don't hit or reach the house. Then with the water, water bottle or water bucket whatever you have just turn off the fire make one more row here and then at the very end you are gonna take a spruce trapdoor and now make sure you're facing this direction and just placing in the middle Now we're gonna build the floor for the house and secure it from the sides. But before that, I wanna mention all of you who are not subscribed to our channel, but who enjoy our videos to show us your love by subscribing to us and turning on the notification bell. With that say, let's continue with the video. So, to make a ground level, first you're gonna take a spruce slab and now make just one block of outline around the house. Then we're gonna place a oak fence on this outline. And now with an oak slab all you want to create a small rectangle by connecting these middle pillars and fill it up everything inside. Now these two holes here we're gonna fill it up with spruce slabs so we have a little bit diversity between the floors because I tried to put one wood color and it doesn't look good as you're gonna get when you mix a two kind of woods. At the very end what you could do 
is place a spruce buttons on these extensions and on the left or extension towards the side place a lantern underneath. After we create a ground level now it's really easy to build on a house and we're gonna start immediately with the second floor. So take a oak log and on this side extension where you put the lantern place a three a pillar of three block high. Then one block diagonally place uh, oak logs by two block high. Then again two blocks. And then in the middle place just one block like this. So repeat this shape on this side. And then with the spruce fence you're gonna place two spruce fence on this corner of blocks so we're gonna create a platform for the small roofs where we are gonna create on the side but you will see that later now we're gonna build a frame for the roofs and from the smallers and for the big roof so first we're gonna focus on a big roof so all you need a couple stone cobblestone stairs and cobblestone so with cobblestone stairs you're gonna extend one blocks towards outside from each side then you're gonna place upside down stairs like this and place cobblestone on it now you're just gonna repeat this process till you don't reach the midpoint After we hit the midpoint here all we want to do is place two normal stairs facing inside close it up with the upside down and place a cobblestone slab on it. Now repeat the process on this side. After we're done here, all we want with cobblestone slab to connect it to the very top and to connect with the stairs at the side. Now for these smaller roofs on the side, all you want to do is start the half block on the fence, then place on the fence, and then you want to place half block about the bottom, and place one block like this, and now repeat this process on this side, and all you want to do is connect them from the very bottom and repeat the shape on another side. I think now you guys know what needs to be done, it's just a finished roof, but before that just place on each corner a lantern, like this. So fill it up the roof, it's really simple. So whatever you have, a full cobblestone block, place a spruce planks, when you have stairs, place a spruce stairs, and whenever you have a slab, connect it with a spruce slab. And now connect everything and fill it up and then you go have a really cool looking roof. Believe me or not, there is just one more step to do before we start decorating the interior and there is of course to finish the second floor. So we're gonna start by one block of spacing in the middle, start with a spruce stairs and create upside down and normal till you don't reach the position where you could place the floor for the second uh, for the second floor, so somewhere around here. Then with the oak slab, you want to fill it up everywhere, of course, leave the space for you to get up. Then, after that, with the spruce stairs placing upside down like this, we're gonna close it up and create like a mini wall around here. Then we're gonna wanna hide this cobblestone texture by simply connecting these two pillars with an oak lock. After that, we have a big hole on both sides. We want a little bit close that. So, with the oak planks, 
place two like this and then make one more row and then make one row of oak fence gates and place a two spruce slabs like this to hide our oak texture. Now repair these parts on this side. And at the very end underneath this connection that we made, which is gonna make one more slab so you or the spiders or some other place can get inside your house that easy. Okay, now Let's first focus on this first floor because this is gonna be a survival house. I want to show you how to create really cool inside a base farms. So please follow my steps. Now for the second floor, even if you think the house is really small, you're gonna have everything you, for you need for basic survival and you're gonna have a lot of storage space, so just please follow my steps. There you go guys, we successfully built a simple survival house on the lake. I hope you enjoyed the video and first of all I hope the tutorial was useful. If it is, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below what's your honest opinion about this house design and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it will mean a lot to me so let's grow together as a one team. With that say, see you in the next video, peace.